on today's episode of Mind and Other People's Expensive Ass Business. Y'all see what they're saying about the light skin land grabber? Of investigation involving a real estate deal and one of the most recognizable voices in radio. Investors in a real estate venture say they were swindled out of millions of dollars. And they argue syndicated radio rapper Rashawn Casey, better known as DJ Envy from the show The Breakfast Club, promoted these deals. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace talked to the alleged victims and has the response to those mounting accusations you're about to hear for the first time. Now, if you are a content creator here on social media who has done or aspired to do brand partnerships, you really want to pay attention to this case. Cases. They're actually suing Caesar, but including DJ Envy in a lot of these cases. If you've never listened to The Breakfast Club, you literally cannot get through one episode without hearing the khaki crusader go on and on about his real estate seminars that he do with his homeboy Caesar. Now, while the seminars themselves aren't the scheme, they help facilitate the scheme. And that's where this next piece comes into play. Caesar Pena. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ. But it's more than just a passing endorsement. You could partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. So people would see stuff like this. And I mean, the man is on the radio and they play this stuff on the radio. So they automatically assume that this is authentic. Like, this is real. Like, why would it be on the radio if it's not legit? And they invest. The beige bully has even openly said that he invested with Caesar personally. So it's like it was giving very much. I do it and I'm rich. So like you should do it too. Ponzi schemes such as this one thrive in communities where the lack of resources attribute to a lack of financial education. So they push this as like, oh, build generational wealth for your children, you know, make passive income, blah, blah, blah. There are couples and individuals who are hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt because they took out loans or whatever it was that they needed to do to get the money to invest in these properties. And they're not seeing a return on that investment at all. There was even a music producer who was a million dollars in the hole. And the recurring theme amongst these victims is that they would have never invested in this if it wasn't for DJ Envy. Somebody y'all should follow on Instagram is Tony the Closer because he has done lives with some of the victims as well as DJ Envy. Side note, I don't know how long that content is going to be up because Tony DeCloser is being sued by DJ Envy after he appeared on the live for defamation. And like DJ Envy didn't want to talk to the news people, but he did send a lawyer and the lawyer said this. He is a victim, just like the other alleged victims are in connection with the scam. The lawyer is saying that DJ Envy invested $500,000 with Caesar and hasn't seen a return on his investment either. So he's a victim too. <laughs> Bullshit. Somebody got cough drop. So the reporter lady flat out was like, well, why isn't he using that same platform that he used to elevate his homeboy in this Ponzi scheme to warn other people? And the lawyer was like, oh, ongoing litigation. But then the Breakfast Club and DJ Envy put out a video where he kind of talked a little bit about the allegations. Listen to what he said in his statement. Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reasons why I did the seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing and in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money because I gave him a lot of money that I didn't see a dollar of returned. But for anybody to say I was involved, that is totally not true. Now, the reason why, if you are a content creator, you should be paying attention to this is because um, DJ Envy's lawyer went on to say that he has no, like, he bears no responsibility in this case specifically because he is not the one who these people invested with. They invested with Caesar. He was just using his platform to kind of like, you know, elevate the brand or whatever you want to call it. Now, I don't know how in the finance news y'all are, but if you'll remember way back when, when the big FTX thing happened and like they found out it was a scam, there was actually a conversation about, well, what role or how much responsibilities do these celebrities, personalities, influencers um, kind of bear because they were the ones pushing this, this product, right? And with the rise of influencer culture, the FCC is definitely kind of cracking down on what we can and cannot do as influencers and what role we play in certain situations. This is why it's very important for you to be a little bit more selective in the products and services that you are advertising on your platforms because it can come back and bite you in the ass. But also, this is another lesson that we shouldn't be taking financial advice from celebrities. I'm sorry, I said it. Yes, these people are rich, but they are rich because they can hire people to tell them what to do with that money so that they stay rich. 
it's really important before you guys make these big financial decisions or even small ones, right, that you consult a professional. There have been no criminal charges filed. It's all civil. So it's literally just people trying to get their money back. But I'm really interested to see how this plays out and what this means for like the celebrity real estate flipping culture that we see a lot of here on the Internet.